at those mesas. So I'm here, guys, with uh, Justin Lowell, my rental car over at Moab Airport. It's early morning, pretty cold, definitely below freezing. I'm here at the little hangar rental space I have. I've had the Chrome and Tiger sitting in. And I want to go show you this because uh, Redbird, Redtail, FBO, as nice as they've been, um, everybody here actually, um, they don't have any hangar space. So Ben, Ben Bird, this is his hangar actually, that's his airplane and his, uh, he's got a seaplane and a 170, 182 that he's been flying for a few years. Um, Here's the tagger. It's getting everything set up. But uh, what I wanted to show you guys is this look thing that I'm doing right here because it's about 18 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So definitely below freezing outside. I got a little Mr. Heater set up. I just turned it on, getting it warmed up. Definitely warm. <laughs> um, I use this old scat tube and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the scat tube over here in the exit duct and line it up. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna actually give me, let's show you real quick. I'm gonna just run the Mr. Heater or the scat tube towards the Mr. Heater and it's gonna be moving warm air to under where the oil sump is and nothing's going to be touching it's not going to be hardwired and um i mean it's pretty warm air but it's not terribly hot and it's definitely less temperatures than what the engine has to do but more importantly it's going to lower uh, or raise the temperature of the um, 100 weight uh, oil that i have which the last time i changed the oil it was 95 degrees in um, Southern California as compared to now so definitely definitely need to use uh, some type of engine heater for the oil sump to warm up that oil before I start this engine otherwise that's definitely going to be some somewhere so let me get it installed real quick slide it in and I'll show you right now so let's see what this hundred weight oil looks like oh man Look at that, it's just, it's just like sludge. So this is definitely the reason. I'm down to five quarts right now, so need to add maybe three quarters of a quart. Once it gets warmed up. That's the reason why you get really really viscous oil so that's my idea let's see if it works otherwise I'm kind of screwed <laughs> okay guys so I got the tube in and all I'm gonna do is put the mister heater right here below it that's it nothing's touching nice little space it's warm, but not too warm. You can see actually, let me show you a quick little disclaimer. This is the low Presti uh, modification. So I'm cheating a bit. And I don't know if you can see inside here. There's a duck right there underneath the sump. right where it needs to be if I come around to the other side of it Let's see where it's exiting so it's good to go and I'll close these up can't really fill anything up here yet, but um, what 
you're basically doing is doing a reverse airflow, letting the hot air rise. So one propane tank on this Mr. Heater, Mr. Heater Mini will last about five hours. Um, and it's not hot to the point where it's gonna really burn anything, you know. Um, it's you got quite a few inches, and I could put my hand here, and it's no big deal um, as far as the amount of heat. So I'm not worried about anything burning, especially under the engine or anything like that. Um, it just doesn't make the amount of heat you would need for there to be an issue, especially with it being uh, 18 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Um, it's not going to be an issue. Okay. Now that that's all taken care of, let's head back to town and get breakfast. Pick up Lynn, get breakfast, return the phone, the rental car. A few things.